Yeah, the first thing she ever said to me was, uh, oh, do you want to borrow my loop station? <laughs> first thing she ever said, the first words that came out of her mouth. Trying to get rid of the separation between the person on the stage and the crowd. Music is something that we love to share to come together. Keep, keeping your love for it. Keeping yeah. your spirit for it. Keeping the love for it. Yeah. In our life, we decided to move into a van. Mm -hmm. I live in my own van and Em lives in another van. Um, the van that we're on tour with now. Um, but yeah, just... Takes the pressure off. Finding ways to kind of hack out of society. Oh. Out the echo chamber of my mind Past experience shiver up and down my spine Find it hard to define Hello beautiful people, I'm here at the Experience Festival in Germany and I have two beautiful people around me This is Emily Hello This is MC Zander Hello, hello <laughs> And they both are street performances and they had a concert here and now I want to talk with them how they create this beautiful lifestyle that they live in. Uh, right now we were next or uh, in the van of you, but we changed the place because it was so loud. So now we go into the nature. I think it's the best place for us because that's where we came from. <laughs> yeah, I just love me some corn. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Yeah, I love corn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so first we go to eat some. The, the band and the food produce. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. Yeah, so come with us. Oh, we're walking. Yeah. Alright. So can we stop pulling our apart from the stars? So can we stop pulling our apart from the stars? <laughs> We just have to sort of make a decision where we want the little stream to come from. So we are here at the big tree <laughs> and yeah, so you both are musicians. You um, met one year ago suddenly at the festival and now you tour together, make some music together. Mm -hmm. And um, my question is how does it start that you just start the music on your own? Like what's, what's your story behind? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, your way. Well, like separately. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I was doing music like I don't know, always in bands and stuff when I was younger, and then I got to the stage where there's a lot of bands would just break up, and then someone would go traveling, or someone would want to just do a you know a J-pop sound, and someone else would want to do a noisecore sound, and artistic differences, and bands would break up, and it would just be. A little bit unreliable so I got a loop station because ultimately you can always rely on a loop station to be there um, yeah so that's my story and I just started doing that and ended up people started liking kind of what I was doing so I kept on doing the loop station and nowadays uh, you know the the issue is just like when it's just you and a loop station it you're really free but you can also be quite limited by that sound and by also just being a bit lonely. <laughs> so now you have two on the stage. That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm for. What? That's what I'm for, to tackle the loneliness, you know, on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you were you were with your loop station before as well. Yeah. 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 I um I began sort of writing poems and then sort of turning them into raps. As me, I did it the yeah, same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think that from then I taught myself to sing and um, just joined a ska band. And they, um, I'm, not, I'm still in that band actually four years later. Um, and I'm, then I bought a loop station and it made it so that I could be um, 
independent, so I can just you know, write my music uh, in one place and write new songs. Um, so I couldn't really play a, an instrument very well, so, um, but it opened up a world of being able to create harmonies with my voice and then creating songs from there. So, uh, and then we met. And it seems yeah. that uh, we have a very matched musical taste and yeah. interests. So. Yeah, the first thing she ever said to me was, uh, oh, do you want to borrow my loop station? <laughs> first thing she ever said, the first words that came out of her mouth. And <laughs> it was because I was on stage at a festival and it was going a bit wrong, like there was some weird static going through my loop station. There's all kinds of sound problems sometimes when you're using loop stations. And she came out and she's like, hey, look, I've got a loop station, do you want to borrow, borrow mine? And I was kind of like, uh, I've got all my settings and preferences, I can't really use yours, uh, loop station. And yeah, but that, that was the beginning. And then we realised we both live in Luton bands, which are these big like removal bands. And you're both we from both, England? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, we were both in Bristol. And there's like quite a creative scene of other loopers and other nights and stuff in Bristol. So yeah, it's quite a good place to be writing stuff with people and getting involved in that. Yeah, so now it's the loop station artists coming together. <laughs> <laughs> Not that lonely anymore. Yeah. yeah, well there's so much more you can do when there's two loop stations because it's like you can put two different sounds in at every time. Yeah. So one of, one of the limitations that I find with um, looping music is that you always have to have a really long intro at mm -hmm. the beginning of the song because you're having to record each part separately whereas when there's two of you you can kind of halve the time that it takes yeah. to get all of that stuff in and that's why it makes it more dynamic and more fun and just I don't know a bit more energy yeah, yeah. sounds like a great experience yeah it's been a lot of fun <laughs> yeah totally we're just like refining it at the moment trying to work out like how styles interact and the writing songs at the moment so that's the that's the bit where you know we'll really be able to express like what we're doing together mm -hmm. when we're actually writing songs together and producing those because yeah. right now it's like you're doing some stuff on my tracks and i'm doing some stuff on your tracks mm -hmm. and um we're just sort of melding it but yeah i think there's some good shit coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe a new album together yeah yeah, absolutely. yeah I'd, I'd like that yeah exactly. good idea mm -hmm. Um, so going a little bit deeper, mm -hmm. when, when you think about music, because this is now your job mm -hmm. and you connect with a lot of people through music, mm -hmm. what is the, yeah, the thing that is for you, like what, what says your heart to music, why are you doing this for, for the crowd, why you go every day or, I don't know, every day, but every second day and make new music and yeah, what's, what's the sense behind this for you? Um, I think for me it's just about uh, creating a space where you can express a message and express yourself to a crowd who could be similar to you or could be very different to you and um, it's about unifying the energy of the room together and uh, trying to get rid of the separation between the person on the stage and the crowd because we are all one group of people we are all one consciousness and it's about, for me, it's about you know, sp spreading a message of love and peace and unity and understanding of each other and compassion. Beautiful. <laughs> um, you know, and last night the crowd were just, you know, so receptive to what we were doing and we went from an electronic set to taking it right down to a guitar and actually a guitar and a voice with some words and singing as a group, you know, brings us all together and takes away the separation of, oh, person on the stage performing, I am a person watching that. We're actually all part of the performance. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we just want to share that and, you know, bring people together. Nice. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree with all that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I had to add anything at all from my own perspective, um, I guess I feel that like music is a really sacred experience um, in this society. Like, we don't have many avenues that we can really just feel the sense of God or the divine. I mean, we have all different words for it, but actually, when everyone's together, 
in celebration of music, we can touch somewhere that's really deep, that's actually very difficult to find otherwise in our culture. Because we've kind of given up a little bit on mainstream religion and for very good reasons, I believe. Um, but we're finding this space now where we can actually come to a place like experience and we can have a sacred experience. It's not just about hedonism. I mean, some festivals, obviously, there is a hedonistic experience possible. But I think there's a big, there's a big culture now of people wanting more than that. They don't want to just have the kind of party and just go, way, and then just be, oh God, I've got to go back to my life that I hate on Monday. <laughs> yeah. It's about going to these places and, and, and weekends where you can actually deepen your experience towards life. And I think that music is a way of doing that. It's a, it's a tool for deepening. Um, so yeah. Mm. Basically saying the same thing as you, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in different words and beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love to connect. Yeah, with all the beautiful spirits. It's nice, very nice. And for music, for yoga, for meditation. Mm -hmm. However. Yeah, and and also like the very last thing I'll say about that is that um, there is a big move towards more activism in the world at the moment, and yeah. I think like it's great to have an experience of. Um, you know something that's internal to you and shared with lots of people but to actually go and use that energy and that sense of well-being and use it to make changes in the outside world mm -hmm. that's kind of you know the tip that we've been on recently and we've been quite involved with the Extinction Rebellion and the, the, the big protests in, in UK and elsewhere and I think music in that context is like a beacon it's like, um, hey, look at it, come on over here, everyone, like, check it out, like, do you like this? Do you like the sound of that? Do you like these lyrics? Cool. Because if you do, then there's stuff that you can get involved with. Yeah. You know, there's stuff that you can actually, it's not just about hearing lyrics and just, you know, just living exactly the same way that we've always lived. It's like, we can actually give ourselves to this culture and we can get, get out on the streets and actually start, you know, demanding the world to be different and yeah. to put pressure on governments and to do it from a place of love um, and so that's that's for me you know the other power of music because I, I have really like had to think about it it's like why do I do this you know like do I just do it because you know I get to be on stage and people go oh wow so good you know it's like yeah it's like music can be used as a, as a beacon to bring people into the fold and then you just radicalize them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh. everyone can. A lot of people can relate to music. Mm -hmm. right? So when we're at the marches and they walk past and they go, "Oh, what's this?" and it looks like a festival, but it's actually not. It's a peaceful protest. Yeah. And um, you know, we want them to take an active, um, you know, interest into what we're saying through choice and to come in and say, "Oh, what what is all this about?" And then they, you know, they've been brought in. If their attention's being brought because of the music and you know people can you know, shake their shoulders yeah. or oh what's this I'm shaking to oh yes. what are all these people doing here you know it's like yeah, oh. yeah. It, 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 it kind of draws people in mm -hmm. you, know. you, you got to make this stuff appealing yeah. at, at the end of the day you can't it's gone of the days where you can just expect this like really hardcore group of people to like solemnly go and you know, do a direct action, or you know, you've got to make it fun. You've got to make it participatory. Light, lighthearted. Yeah, got to get all different generations and different walks of life, and and you know, music is something that we love to share to come together. So yeah, yeah, I think it's a big big place for it in that way. Mm -hmm.
and it sounds very good coming to the parts um, but maybe it's a little bit hard like you start to think okay maybe I will make music and I will make m my money for my life with this mm -hmm. and um, how was it for you the first steps how what kind of problems can come through that you have to manage that you have to think about and what can you say to the people who are looking now here what uh, what is important to know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What is important really when, when you think about your past time, mm. all this experience you had? Um, well, I would say that it is something that you don't realize it's going to be so involved. When you, when you want to do a creative profession and like make enough money to, to live, um, you've got to do quite a lot of work if you're an independent artist like me you know i've got to sit on my emails every morning kind of fielding stuff like getting back to people like being my own manager and my own agent and um and then by about like 1 p.m i'm kind of more into like creative mode of making music but then it's like when do you socialize like you're playing at weekends you know you're going to you know it's quite hard to like keep a solid like friendship group where you are like the people that you keep on seeing because you're always away and you know so I think um, yeah it's it's super involved and it's a big you know it's a sacrifice in in that way um, and like for instance we all our friends are at a festival and called Shambhala in in the UK and it's just such a beautiful festival and we we went there and we were having such a great time but then it's like we had to like get on the road as soon as like we finish and say goodbye to all our friends and you know it's like okay oh but my heart bleeds for you Xander it's like but but you know all those all those people that that would be like a, a thing that they do to relax whereas we're just always working at these things so that can be a bit challenging sometimes um, but um, yeah I, I don't know you want to say something <laughs> um, maybe you can say some like when you really uh, now think about okay maybe now I want to be a musician. Mm. What what is important? I think I'm I'm pr I'm quite new to it because I I'm um, I usually work as a nurse back at home. So I I have um, when I'm back in the UK um, I'm usually working full time as a nurse. So this is quite a new thing for me. Um, to Since four years you are like. Four years or um, how long? I've, I've been qualified for about six years. Ah, okay. Um, coming up seven years actually. Right. Um, but um, I've been working full time as a nurse, and my interest as, as a musician has always been sort of um, more uh, relaxed. You know, it's been more of a, a hobby. Mm -hmm. But now it's become a lot more of a sort of focus in my life where I want to, you know, take more time for it. So it's, it is that transitional time for me. Yeah. Um, but I also need to remember that nursing is also a really big thing in my life um, and something that is my profession. Mm -hmm. So I need to still you know, work hard to keep that, my, my standards up, my, 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 my clinical skills up. So um, it's just getting the balance and I think it's probably not something I could fully do right now, mm -hmm. but maybe in the future once I've, you know, adjusted and I've worked it out. I think it's about taking it slow. Yeah. For me. Well for me anyway it's gonna be a slow sort of process. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's just about having the balance of your you know music life, your uh, mental health, your your alone time, your um, your your spiritual growth and making sure that you've got a balance of all those things. But it is hard work, you know. When you're in it, you're in it, and you're on the road, and you're, you know, you've really got to be quite organised and strong, you know, especially travelling around and going from one place to the next. You've got to really look after yourself. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, that's the thing when a lot of people think like you musicians, ah, they just uh, chill and do the music. Yeah. But you really have to have your structure. Your, yeah. You need to know how to do it. Yeah. And at the end, like uh, keeping on doing it, mm. and then something's coming yeah. out of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, taking it slow is like a big, a big thing that I've, I guess, I've realised is that, you know, you can be the most incredible musician, 
and have the most incredible songs content but it will take a while for you to get like if you're seeking you know popularity or if you're seeking to actually sell enough music in order to survive um, pay your rent or whatever it does take a long time you know you just got to keep writing and keep playing and keep making videos and it's you know I think that's just the only way that I know how to do it and I see a lot of people out there that are doing you know incredible stuff and it's I'll, I'll probably see them in like five ten years you know being like oh yeah do you know them um, and they'll be famous or something but you know it's it's about just consistency and and hard work and dedication and that yeah that is a lot of hard work and dedication yeah, <laughs> and keeping keeping your love for it and keeping yeah. your spirit for it keeping the love for it because if you start doing something that you don't love anymore then that that's portrayed in the music that's portrayed in your performance and that's you know people can sense that you know and i think for you as a musician or performer or artist you know you keep yourself loving what you're doing because then you really mean the words that you're saying mm -hmm. and you care about the people that you're listening to yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Sirens, once more for the beach, my friends. One enemy with the violence, freedom falls hard to the new tyrants. Time breaks along a fault line, leeches move in a dark night. Hold on to the rail, hold tight, better roll up, ready for the fairground ride. Suffering is sacred, there's no fate if you're gonna make it. Jump in the cracks in the black pavements, there's only there you better face it. Most in the fight on my lyrics, turn them in the world, better know my limits. Better put the venom in the mind, so we kill it with the vibe and put a bit of insight in it. I lie here terrified When the silence falls I still hear them strike When they call their sirens on the winds tonight Help me fly to the far line But I, but I, we both made the decision to stop paying rent So that was, <laughs> that was, a, that was a big uh, help yeah. in our life We decided to move into a van mm -hmm. I live in my own van and Em lives in another van um, The van that we're on tour with now um, but yeah, just Takes fi the pressure off. finding ways to kind of hack out of society, I guess. It's like if I was having to pay rent, then I'd have to be like, okay, I make, have to make sure I get this amount of gigs and, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I wouldn't spend enough time just sort of making, writing music and it taking a long time over that process. And sometimes if you, if you just have such a kind of economic stress it's quite hard to be creative yeah. Um, and yeah it's just really nice like living a slightly more minimal life like all the things that I thought that I would really need like having a shower in my van or like you know ha having a PlayStation to play on occasionally or something <laughs> like that like <laughs> none of that is really needed you know mm. just have a place to do music have some place to cook have somewhere to sit somewhere to like meditate and that is all we need. That's all we need. <laughs> I feel you. I live also in a caravan so Oh, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very beautiful li life. Yeah. Lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I thank you a lot yeah. for your words, oh. for being here. Cheers. We thank you. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like so here's some beatbox or some music at the end. You would like to okay. make a little jam? <laughs> yeah, we could do a beatbox version of Lethal Day. You want? Okay, yeah. What what key do you want to do? Um you sing the thing out of this one too. Am I am I able to do this? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Gotta take a leap of faith Even if the ground is unsteady You gotta take this path of love Even if your mind isn't fully ready Each new step that I take In this divine direction I will ground my life with every momentary meditation oh. Momentary meditation oh. 
Out the echo chamber of my mind Past experiences shiver up and down my spine Find it hard to define The feelings are on the light Authentic mind The me, myself and third I Won't deny the good, bad and ugly All those things are all part to me Just go to take them as they serve us as they come Just go to take them as they serve us as they come Gotta take the messages as they come. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. So, people, I hope you enjoy and yeah, do what you love. We do what we love. So, just keep connected with the people who go into this vibe, into this vibe, into the direction of your heart. Mm -hmm. And yeah, blessings to you. Children of the best sons, time to find where we come from.